Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first haul in what feels like forever. I'm pretty sure my last one was my what I got for Christmas haul, but that obviously wasn't things I bought myself, that was just all my presents. So I'm super excited to be filming one today and of course it is for Kmart. Now I was pretty much inspired by my friend Brittany here on YouTube. She did a Kmart activewear haul and she picked up some really good stuff and it was so affordable. So I decided that I had that craving now, I needed to go shop up a storm in Kmart. There were a couple of things in her video I wanted to pick up, so I will have her video and channel linked below, but let's just jump right into the haul because I have so much good stuff to show you guys. Firstly, the one thing from Britney's video that I just knew I had to have is these leggings. So these are just plain khaki, but I love khaki and I don't think I actually own that much stuff in that color but if you know me at all you know I love green so obviously this is within the green family and these just looked so flattering on her I was blown away and these were only $14 what so these are super high-waisted which I absolutely love it just keeps everything tucked away nicely in there and it means you can wear them with just a sports bra and not have a ridiculous gap of your midriff which I personally just don't like on myself and they said they were full length, but they do only come down to like a 7 8 length, which Brittany did mention in her video, so I knew what I was getting into, but it is kind of annoying because some of their leggings say full length, and they are full length, but then I held these up next to them, and they're definitely different lengths, so I don't know what's going on with that. But either way, I love these. I've worn them heaps already. They're so comfortable. I can just lounge in them, did a workout in them. I think if you guys are just looking for some leggings, but you're not a crazy active person like me, then Kmart is the place to go because under $15, what? Now the second item is probably my favorite from this entire haul because I was just blown away that I found something like this so perfect at Kmart because often Kmart will follow trendy things but you know the quality won't be there the fabric will be a bit weird and it just won't sit as nicely on your body as it would if you paid the money so it is this little black skirt just in stretchy comfy material it it's kind of hard to describe so hopefully you'll be able to see in the overlay clip but it has this sort of wrap around detail at the front and has a little tie up here with the silver detailing which I love and this is just so adorable I feel like I can definitely dress this up or down and I can't wait to wear it and this was only $15 which is an absolute bargain and I actually got it in a size 8. I would usually get an 8 or a 10 depending, but this is still a little too big. I did actually want the 6, so if you're going to grab this, definitely size down 1 or even 2 sizes, but I can still get away with the 8. I just, I would prefer it just a little bit tighter because I really like to wear things high-waisted. So yeah, this is super cute and they did actually have it in khaki and I wanted to buy both. I may end up going back and buying it in khaki if I get enough wear out of this, but I just thought better to stick with black for now because I know I'll wear this heaps. Next up I have a couple of kitcheny bits which honestly I never thought would excite me but trust me guys you're gonna get to that age one day when you're living out of home and you're an adult and these things are gonna excite you like a dish brush. So I got this because of course we really needed another one so why not grab it from Kmart. This was only a dollar fifty, which is actually ridiculous. I think our previous one was from Ikea. Again, was like two dollars. You don't need to pay much for these guys. They do the job. I picked the green one because... Do I really need to say why? The next thing is a cutlery holder, which I'm actually going to be using for drying my cutlery because we have a very small kitchen, so very limited space. So when I wash all the cutlery, I just have to lay out a tea towel and just spread it all on there. And it ends up just not drying properly. The tea towel gets soaking wet and then it just kind of starts to smell. And I don't like that because I just clean the dishes. I don't want them to smell. So this will be perfect. I'll be able to pop it all in here and it'll dry properly. It is really big, so it's definitely all gonna fit in there. And yeah, this was just something that I really needed and I've been wanting for a while. 
and it was four dollars which I thought again was really good. The next thing I picked up is a garlic crusher. I have been wanting one of these for so long because I just cut it up by hand and it's really quite tedious. Garlic is very small and you want to cut it quite finely and it ends up just going all over the place. It's really annoying so I thought why not get a garlic crusher? It just makes sense. It'll make my life so much easier and quicker and I actually really cheaped out on this because there was a four dollar one but I thought that was too expensive so I went down even more and got one for $1.50. So basically just unwind it Ugh. pop the garlic in there and then twist it back in and it'll come out here so it's really really basic but I don't care I don't need anything fancy to crush my garlic so I went with this one and unfortunately there was no green one so we had to go with the pinky red the final homey bit is actually a dish rack so Again, quite boring, but I thought this was exciting because it's matte black and it's really pretty and it just makes our kitchen look a little bit nicer with our spice rack and just, it's fun. I don't have much space to work with, so whatever I can make nice in there, I get excited about. So this was $7. They actually had the exact one that we have now for $7 but I thought this one was prettier and I wanted it and it was the same price, so why not? But the one that we have is just getting really old and rusty and gross. Who wants to put their dishes on something that's rusty? So it definitely needed an upgrade. So then when we leave this place, they can keep the rusty old one and we can take our nice pretty matte black one with us. So yeah, I'm very excited about this, if you couldn't tell. I really hate doing dishes, so anything that I can do to make it more of a fun experience, I will do. Moving on to something which probably got me more excited than it should have. We have this headband here. Now, if you have been around for a while, you will recognize this. I have had one of these for so long and I, I, I how long? Like two years, maybe? And it was just getting so worn. I've thrown it in the bin. I should have kept it for the video, but basically the ear was no longer attached. So it would slide everywhere. The actual band was stretched so much. So it didn't really hold my hair back. I was so blown away when I put this on and it was just so nice and tight how it should be. And I've wanted to replace these for a while, but they're $5. And I thought $5 for something that I just used to hold my hair back when I have other things I could use and didn't really want to do, but it was on clearance for $2.50, so half price, which was kind of a sign to me that it was meant to be and it was finally time for me to replace them. So I love these. I literally end up wearing them all the time, not out of the house, but sometimes I'll forget that they're even on and then the neighbors will come around or the postie and I just look like an idiot with my cat ears, but I don't really care because they are super cute and they do the job of keeping my hair back. The next thing is boring, but it's something I always grab when I go to Kmart, and that is my cleansing wipes. These are, I'm pretty sure, $1.50. I think when I started getting these, they were $3 or $2, and now they're $1.50, which is just insane to me. These last me so long, I sometimes just use the same one if I haven't, if I've only had to take off eye makeup, then I'll use the other side for face makeup or whatever, because I just soak these in my cellar water. I don't think they really do anything without my cellar water. I just use them as a base. So yeah, if you're gonna get these to use to remove your makeup, then just know that that's not how I use them. I definitely soak them in a makeup remover, but they're really good as a base for $1.50. So I always, always get these. I should really buy like two or three packs when I get them, but I always find myself at Kmart like once a month, so it's okay. The next thing I picked up is actually a pair of earrings and I've been eyeing these off for months since they hit the stores, but I don't know if you guys would have noticed, I'm really not an earring person. Before Christmas, when my dad and his partner got all of us girls these little studs, I never wore earrings. I think I did when I was like 14 or something, but before these, I don't think I'd put in earrings for like five years maybe. And when I do, I just get annoyed with them. My ears get irritated. I think they're quite sensitive, but yeah, I just, I'm not an earring person, but I want to be because I think they're really cute. So I decided to just go for it and get these. I'm sure you'll probably recognize them. I feel like heaps of people have hauled these recently. These are only $4, which is insane. They're just gorgeous rose goldy shade with, of course, green tassels. Was I gonna go for any other shade? So they had about four other shades. I think the pinkish shade was really, really pretty and I would get them, 
but this is definitely much more me. And yeah, just if I have an event coming up or a party or a nice dinner, I can pop these on and just be a little more dressy because I do love the concept of earrings. I just never seem to put them in. The next thing will make sense to anyone who is an Instagrammer, but if you're just an average Joe, you'll be like, Ali, why the hell did you buy a leaf? But I got this and this is a placemat. Kmart do their best placemats. If you see a cool background in someone's Instagram photo, it's probably a placemat from Kmart. I have about 10 sitting in the corner over there. And this is just really fun and different. I love that they came out with this. If you guys follow me on Inst Instagram, you know my theme is quite naturey outside. I just like to use natural light. I use it for my videos, I use it for my photos. I just love it. So this, I feel like, goes really well with my theme. And if it's a day like today where it's overcast, I can still take a photo inside, but still have the green vibes, which I love. So super big. And I've seen so many people do photos with this already. My friend Brooke sent me one yesterday that she took and it just looked stunning. So I can't wait to use this. This is $3. So their placemats usually range from $2 to $4. I was happy to pay $3 for this one because it is bigger and quite a little bit more intricate than the others, which is just round with like a marble pattern or something. So yeah, either way, $3 is still a bargain. Now, the final thing I got from Kmart, I actually saw and posted on my Instagram story the last time I went, and then I thought, Ellie, why the hell didn't you buy that? That's actually a really cool idea, and it's only $8. So it is this brush drying rack from OXX. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen brush drying racks around the internet that are like $50, $80, $100, which is so ridiculous. So I'm not expecting this to be the same quality as those, but for something that's just going to hold your brushes while they dry, do you really need something that's high quality and crazy sturdy? I don't think so. So I'm excited. I'm going to probably do a little Instagram video of me using this, so definitely keep your eye out. But yeah, I thought for $8, why not give it a try? And I am really bad with washing my brushes, so I think if I have somewhere to put them while they're drying, because that's an issue I do have, I don't have space, then I think this will just make the process a little bit easier. And once you start cleaning your brushes, it's actually quite fun. You just don't think about it being fun when you look at how many brushes you have to clean. <laughs> Am I right? So that wraps up today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I ended up only spending $60 at Kmart and I got 11 things. So I think that is such a good deal. I seriously just love Kmart and I know you guys all do as well. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for more Kmart hauls because I'm happy to do it like once a month. And subscribe down below if you are new. Also, turn on the little notification bell because as you've heard from everyone, YouTube sucks. So if you want to support me, then definitely turn on your notifications. And I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.